This is um, this is courtesy of Hypebeast, one of my favorite brands. Our legacy have partnered up with Denim Tears, who have I have the shoes of. They have a, I showed you already. I got the converses. So um, they partnered, did like a little collaboration, a little capsule collection, and it looks flipping great, right? Because obviously I'm a big fan of what um, our legacy do, and obviously the aesthetic of what Denim Tears is trying to do, and the model choice and the pictures. I just, you know, they give that little bit extra sprinkling of panache, and they kind of separate it and take it and elevate it to a next level. Because essentially it's just basics, right? Sweats, t-shirts, button ups, and a trench coat. But the way it's been done, it's very done very in a very tasteful manner, and it kind of just lifts it up to a another level now my question is having seen this was um the converse is i'm all right to wear because they've got a really great story behind them obviously i'm a massive uh hamill fan i think i've got a book over there somewhere um whatever it may be and you know they're quite a cool looking converse it's not malarkey but maybe i'm in the minority here but do you find it a little bit odd or a little bit awkward to wear someone's kind of acronym or like you know name or sort of like pseudonym on your back because obviously denim tears is like relating to the founder tremaine right who's now kind of switched up his name i think now he doesn't go by denim tears anymore he now you know kind of goes by his own name on his own account and then he's changed the denim tears account to like just for the brand so there's obviously been a, a concentrated effort to sort of separate the two but for the longest time he was referred to himself as denim tears and uh, maybe that's changed i haven't really been keeping too much um attention as to what have when it happened but from an outsider just kind of you know and no end of knowing of him loosely from from long long time ago i do find it odd and that's the only thing that'll stop me from actually wearing this stuff especially when it's got his name on it it just feels odd because it feels like i'm wearing another man's name on which is odd really because it doesn't really mean anything because i wear designer names i've got a flipping balenciaga flannel on here right at the moment um but there is something about naming there is something being about being closely associated with the thing that you make name wise that can sometimes alter the buying decisions of, of a customer i feel like which is probably why a lot of people go out especially designers nowadays will either you know uh, create a brand in secret and not reveal themselves to be the founder or completely create a different brand from whatever they're known for before just to kind of give themselves a fresh chance to kind of you know maybe speak to a different audience give themselves an opportunity to actually try and make it because people are going to be carrying whatever uh, presupposed ideas onto whatever he's doing there you know there's all, all those things that happen in there because i'm sure a lot of those i'm sure there must be a thing too if you're associated with kanye and stuff as great as that must be there's also a bit of a burden attached to it because people are automatically going to think it's sort of like that brendan shaw with joe rogan thing right because joe rogan is such a beast anyone that come next to him and if you're prepared and you've got the tools and your talent and your hard working you can use that joe rogan chance as like a launching pad to take you out to the stratosphere right so it can be a blessing and a curse because it can take to the stratosphere but it could also people lead people to think it's a bit of nepotism involved because you've only kind of made it because of your friend which is you know a, a little bit unfair because you know everyone needs some kind of leg up you need some kind of introduction you need some door to be open in order for you to get to places so it doesn't really matter how it happens but I can I could definitely understand where if you imagine if you had a brand and then you started it when once you started hanging around with Kanye and then suddenly you changed it up the name and stuff and went a different direction people would be thinking why would you do that but I'd, I'd imagine a lot of the reason why because you wanted to give yourself a chance to kind of or you wanted to prove to yourself that you could do it on your own quote unquote and also you didn't want the association that came with the Kanye thing because maybe it would attract a certain customer base it would maybe not give you a chance to maybe experiment and be a bit crazy I don't know whatever it may be I'm sure there's a blessing and a curse thing attached to it but for sure the blessing is tenfold isn't it being a associated or attached to the school of Kanye you know you only have to look at the success stories now right you've got Heron Preston doing his namesake uh, obviously now um, taking over for Calvin Klein for a short period of time or whenever that contract goes on you've got Matthew Williams of Elites and now doing with Givenchy you've got Jerry Lorenzo with Fear of God and his central line and now the partnership with um, Adidas coming up you got Virgil, of course, with Off White and Louis Vuitton. There's so many people attached. Don C's got to, you know, be able to build a brand off the back of flipping leather strapped snapbacks, which is insane. Everyone's been able to take whatever they've been doing and kind of use it as a launching pad. But like I said, I still have in my mind that this is someone's name. Like you know, like I used to be referred to as Tronics back in the, you know crooked tongues days so i'm sure if i made a hoodie or a brand and people thought i was corny back then and i made a clothing brand people were thinking no i'm not wearing that because i don't like the guy he's a bit of a corny mug do you know what i mean 
So I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm reading too much into it. But as much as I like the clothes, some people will hold him back to wearing it just because it's got his name on it, which is odd, really. It doesn't really. It shouldn't really matter in that respect because you know there's probably there's more to like there's more to supporting this that kind of supports the bigger goal in terms of representation, in terms of giving black people a chance, in terms of just having us have a seat at the table, in terms of have, have us having a voice and being able to kind of, you know, imbue our artistic vision within the scene and whatever it may be. These are really important steps. So it's, you should kind of put those kind of, um, Oh, is it an ego thing? Whatever it is, you should be able to put this to one side, but I do feel a bit away. I do feel a bit odd about it. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments what you think, but the collection looks great. I'm not sure if the boots are included in it or if these are just standard Our Legacy boots, but the the kind of, um, uh, the cotton, the cotton bud, I think that's cotton, right? That's the kind of logo he kind of uses, right? A lot of really cool, really in-depth sort of like uh, background into that and why he uses that. Definitely read up on it if you want to do so. But the trench coat looks amazing. It's got the little pin there, lapel pin that's attached to it as well. That's a little cotton picking bud as well, which looks incredible. You've, of course, got a great T-shirt and hoodie as well. Done really well with the Wrangland sleeves and the nice drawstrings. The cut looks really great and amazing. The dreads, are, look at the dreads, amazing. Look at that. The model choice is superb, to be completely honest. And this, I think, is out now or mostly sold out. So definitely check that out if you're that way inclined. And then, again, as another way to kind of celebrate and, you know, bring more good news to the brand, Demtiz have also partnered up with Levi's for a two-year collaboration. Obviously, you've seen your jeans everywhere. They've been pretty uh, popular with a lot of people in the scene and whatnot. Again, I haven't worn them specifically because of the name and having someone's name plastered across your back that you kind of are familiar with. It just feels a bit odd. Maybe it's just me. Who knows? But this article here from ID. It says Tremaine Emeroy, the designer behind Denim Tears, has signed a multi-year partnership with Levi's. After the success of their collaboration last year, Denim Tears work has been a vehicle for Tremaine to integrate um, and explore the role of cotton in the industry in the history of black people in the US where our Levi's has a 150 year history with denim perhaps cotton's most infamous creation their partnership then will be a way to explore the storytelling that Tremaine has made his signature and explore the values of social justice that Levi's holds dear um, we were so inspired by a collaboration with Tremaine that stepping into a two year partnership just for a right says Jennifer Say the brand president of Levi's as a brand we celebrate the authentic expression and champion those who stand up for what they believe in and this shines through and Tremaine's work which is a great come up to be fair if you think about all the passa passa that happened with Converse and all that shit and I'm sure other stuff happened behind the scenes to now be in a position where you've got our legacy collaborations um, he's turned basically effectively a kind of quasi merch brand into a legitimate little fashion thing which is pretty cool which you can kind of do on your own sort of schedule own sort of calendar you don't have to abide by the fashion week calendar do you think you know move to the beat of your own drum you know the models are always great the styling is always good but again just the name is just like having that on the back i just feel a little bit odd about it just me personally continues they already re um, they already released the first drop in january which drew inspiration from the cottons um interweave legacy of slavery in america uh, for a collection of printed indigo and black levi jackets hats jeans and hats now for april them tears reissuing the design in the array of styles and colors including white light wash and black with each limited edition drop being released bi-weekly additionally each pair of five ones has a print of cotton roots of cotton reefs inspired by a reef in the Tremaine's house. This highlights cotton as a rare material from whence uh, denim came and reclaims it from its legacy of slavery. You can buy the pieces which double up as wearable art here, which is a pretty cool idea to be fair. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like an extension of um, Kanye wearing that flipping, uh, what is it called? That, um, that neo-Nazi jacket back in the day during easy times, remember? So this is a pretty cool idea all in all. The jeans look flipping great. I'm sure the, sh the shape is nice. Great washes. A lot of work has probably gone into making these bang the way they need to bang. So um, congratulations to him and all that. Malaki.